Yo, what's going on guys, DJS here, and happy Monday. I just wanted to do a kind of a fresh commentary and a video for you guys today, and let you guys know on some of the series that I have coming up, and I apologize for the delay on some of them. Uh, I just have been, uh, been a little bit busy, but I'm going to be trying to get some of these things done, and there's two series in particular that I'm going to be working on. Uh, one of them is going to be the zombie series that I've been promising. I really think I might actually start this after um, the last map pack drops, because there's no real point in starting a zombie series before like the last map pack which drops in like a couple weeks so uh, I don't know unless you guys really want to see some of it beforehand I could start to try to get some of the gameplays but I really would prefer to to get them afterwards and all it is if you were curious and look at that I love that the fact that they got me with that javelin spot because from the very first uh, like week that this game came out I got that javelin spot down and I posted like the first five piece javelin I think on YouTube it was pretty I was pretty proud of myself but uh but yeah, I was at that javelin spot back there. But anyway, um, I uh, wanted to do a zombie series where I basically play every single map from the beginning to end. It's not going to be a story mode, and there's a nice little triple that I ended up getting from that javelin spot. I knew they were overtaking the area, so I decided to uh, sneak up on those guys and get that. But it won't be a, a zombie story-like sort of thing. If you guys want story stuff, check out Rat Austin. Uh, definitely a dope dude for the, the zombies theories and stories and stuff like that. It's not really my thing. I like to do a lot of the uh, sort of tutorials and stuff but I also like to play zombies obviously I'm not the I really am not the best player a lot of people are like oh just, just trying to be humble I'm really not dude um, I'm really not a very good zombie player at all but I uh, want to just go ahead and just do some zombie gameplay from the beginning map to the very last map uh, and unfortunately I've been trying to start this series for a while now and the first map is just absolutely killer for me I like can't even get to round 20 on the first map because there's no juggernaut and there's no uh, there's no Juggernaug, there's no um, Quick Revive or Perks or anything like that other than the one Perk Machine because I'm playing the Block Ops version. And it's it's like, it should be easy and it's just super hard for me to beat. So uh, I've been trying and I'm going to keep trying to get a gameplay. I might have to do that one uh, uh, with multiplayer instead of just solo because like, you can definitely get further if you if you play with other people. Um, there's a nice little start to the beginning of this uh this game right here. It's always nice to be able to get like a attack hopper. And I'm running, if you didn't see, I'm running like the Predator Missile or whatever. Uh, attack hopper and Reaper, and it's a pretty nice uh, combination. I don't know what that guy was doing right down there. I am using the Red Dot with this uh, P90, just trying it out. I, I got this gameplay a long time ago. Um, I have a, actually a whole bunch of gameplays that I've never posted. Um, just all different types of guns and whatever, because back in the day I was doing a different gun, uh, or I was doing a, a gun review with like every single one of the guns. But anyway, um, the other series I wanted to do is a Javelin Spot series. You guys have been asking, uh, even uh, Yodis, Yodis Lair actually mentioned on, on Twitter to myself asking about a Javelin Spot um, video or something like that for, uh, <laughs> this guy was just, I was like, what is this guy doing? A uh, Javelin Spot uh, location video for Modern Warfare 2, not Modern Warfare 3, which I've already done. A lot of opening routes and stuff like that for Modern Warfare 3. And look at this guy, assassin badass over here. Um, <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Did you just see that? That guy got a quad with with that uh, that device thing. I forgot what those things are called, but that's ridiculous. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start that javelin series. I'm gonna basically do every map, just kind of do like all my my favorite javelin spots on every map. The hard part is is actually trying to get multi kills in every one of the javelin spots for some of my post. So I might not be able to get actually like kills or multi kills in the javelin spots. Just me more or less showing you guys and telling you guys where the javelin spots are that I use, and then letting you guys discover some of the awesomeness from those spots um, as we go. So looking forward to doing that series as well. Um, I don't know why I never did it. I you know I probably could have a decent amount of views on that series if I did already. Uh, obviously because if you guys did did not know, but most of you guys do, that uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Javelin from all the way back. Look at these guys, dude. And then all of a sudden I'm like, hey buddy, what are you doing? I'm, I'm waiting, and then I destroyed it, because I knew there was more guys over here, and so I was just trying to get these guys clear out the area. But this is the, the magical part of the game where the other team, um, or we, we're triple capped on the other team, and I can't figure out where they're spawning and all this other stuff. And this is kind of a pain. Uh, but uh, now we, it uh, looks like they have the sea flag, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, Got to be a little bit careful uh, right now. I'm, I'm working my way up to my last kill streak, so uh, I'm really, really trying to get this next one. This is a nice little javelin spot across as well, if you guys haven't seen that one. And a lot of people wonder why I jump when I use a javelin. It's because if you don't, sometimes you can suicide, and uh, and I don't like that. And there's a nice little double kill right there. So sometimes it's just fun to use a javelin and, 
and throw it up in the middle of nowhere and just let it rain and see what happens, and that's kind of what I did. It is kind of weird seeing a domination gameplay without a break in the middle uh, from Black Ops 2, so it's kind of kind of crazy. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what other series you guys kind of want to see on my channel. I definitely will be playing uh, the new map pack, unfortunately, as I mentioned in some previous videos. I, I won't have gameplay on launch day, unfortunately. I'll be out of town until Wednesday. Um, so Wednesday, the launch is on Tuesday. I won't be back until Wednesday late. And then I'll, I'll be catching up on all the zombies and stuff for the last map pack. So far, from what I've heard from the map pack, it's just going to be like the origins sort of stuff. Maybe the, the beginnings of the story. Which is a lot of fuzzy details and lots of theories on what everything is. And uh, hopefully this will actually give us some sort of answers. And it's actually kind of a smart thing for them to do. And go back and... Uh, and do a new map that sort of clarifies some of the the origins. I think that they were kind of sloppy when they put everything together at first because I know they weren't like thinking that it was going to be the, just the crazy success that it ended up becoming. So uh, because it is so successful, it's kind of cool to see. Now right here, this is a javelin spot that I, that I got my first five kill, a multi kill on in that location. But the thing is, you saw my team pushing up past uh, the B flag because they pushed up past that. It ends up setting their spawn back further or whatever it is, and then it won't end up getting me a, a multi-kill. So kind of just the way it goes from there. Um, and if you guys don't remember, there is no um, refills for the Javelin on uh, Modern Warfare 3. On Modern Warfare 2, there was. So Modern Warfare 3, I would shoot a Javelin. Sometimes if somebody left a Javelin on the ground, it would pick it up. Uh, and always love to see that. So that was definitely a good way to go there. This is a spot that I should have been using a Javelin, but I didn't have any left over. But you can see that guy just shot up his in the air, so i got to be careful. And I'm running over in their base. Um, I actually miss playing this game. I haven't played Modern Warfare 3 in so long. Uh, I wouldn't mind actually playing this uh, with some subscribers and stuff. And I need to play more games with subs. It's actually, I have a lot of fun playing with subs, and a lot of you guys are really good. And it just makes it fun to be able to play games with you guys and, and whatever. It just, sometimes I just don't have enough time. Um, and summertime is no, no joke, man. i got a lot of things going. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update for some of the series. And there's a nice little drop shot. Luckily, that uh, sniper is not Black Ops 2, luckily, and the sniper missed me. And then I think I usually um, wait in this area and, and uh, try to use that spot to, like down here and just hide uh, for the last kill streak. But I'm just camping it out because I know that they're spawning over the, the, uh, the other side, right? and there's one guy right here. And I just need one more dude, and, uh, and then I will go ahead and, and get my thing. Luckily, this guy, I don't know what he was doing, just hanging out. So I'm going to go back and, like I said, go back to this little camping spot right here, calling another Reaper. And I love the Reaper. The Reaper was a great addition to the game. The AC-130 was such a, a dope uh, kill streak back in the day, but in um, Modern Warfare 3, not so great for me. At least I didn't I didn't find it very useful. But the Reaper, you, you have like... I remember the first time I, I used this and I didn't realize you can zoom in. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like everybody kept on making fun of me like on the first video that I posted with the Reaper. And uh, they're like, you can zoom in. I was like, what? I'm like, it didn't. I didn't see anything on my screen that said zoom in by pressing the X button or whatever the hell the button is, um, or the left trigger, left toggle button or whatever. Would have been nice to, for them to have that though. But uh, TNT video tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Uh, and then I have just random videos through the rest of the week. I don't have anything too crazy. I have a Gears of War three or not uh, Gears of War Judgment gameplay that I was planning on posting. If you guys want to see that, got some Borderlands two. Um, I think Pyro Pete, I, I have just a random gameplay of uh, myself beating him. And then, uh, I don't know, dude, we'll just see where, where the week takes us. It's kind of fun. Sometimes I prep, uh, actually a lot of times I prep way far in advance because I um, I just have a lot of other, I have my sneaker channel as well as I started my, my own sneaker website. If you haven't seen it, actually I'll put a link in the description for that as well called collectivekicks.com. And uh, man, I just do have a lot of other random things going on, so sometimes I don't get a chance to do fresh gameplays and fresh commentaries more importantly and uh, this time um, I actually get that opportunity so it's kind of fun and I love the the juggernauts too I, I remember seeing them um, and thinking it would be such a cool thing to like have but the, the juggernauts go so slow so bad but there it is right there 48 in 7 and I ended up getting 5 assists and some caps here and there but decent game for myself uh, thanks for watching hopefully you guys have a good week for anybody that's starting back in school soon uh, let me know when you guys are starting school I'm curious uh, but have a good one we'll catch you guys later peace Thank <laughs> you.